how far we have to go <laughs> to get to where we're going. So let's go ahead and start for Libra. Okay. All right, Libra. So this first row is where we're going to start. It says, this, this is the, in the position of what have I created since the new moon? This is about the growth that has occurred since then. And we have the Four of Swords. And that's telling me that you have learned how to meditate. You've been spending time in meditation. Or uh, having a, a good amount of downtime for downloading information from spirit through dreams. Or just uh, a good balance in your life. And um, that's a very good sign it's a very healthy thing to do so let's see where are you now that's where this card is going to tell us it looks like you're at the two of wands so you're at the very beginning of a venture a new uh a new prospect a new inspiration that has you looking out into the world and deciding what your next steps are planning being balanced again being balanced in your plans and in your, um, with your plans and your inspiration, staying uh, realistic and achievable. And next we have the position of what am I becoming aware of? And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like um, you're becoming aware of or you're... Um, accepting the fact or you're going to be accepting the fact that you have an opportunity and you're moving forward methodically step by step in a constant progression and that's also a very healthy place to be so libra it looks like you are being very balanced in in all things and that is uh even for libra that is a very impressive place to be okay i'm going to go ahead and get some clarifiers on these cards uh, hopefully they will give us some more information shed some more light on this situation and make it more uh hopefully more resonate even more with you uh something to con confirm what we are already seeing or to clarify so that we can get a better understanding so let's go ahead and get that for libra Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. All right, Libra, I see the first position of what you've learned since the new moon or how you've grown has led you to the Fool card, which is giving you uh, the, um, the inspiration, the anticipation to spread your wings and fly it looks like all of this um time downtime that you've been taking and restoring yourself and rejuvenating yourself has made you ready and prepared you to take the leap of faith to jump out into the world with a new beginning and a fresh new look and this is um, um a very exciting time for you because this is, like I said, a brand new, fresh beginning where you're depending on, you're not being too, um, too careful. So you have, but there's a lot of potential here. And, um, you know, just a word of caution, it is good to be a little bit more, to have some, um, uh, use good judgment, you know, but, um, on the other hand, you have this free willing spirit, like you know that that you can handle anything. You know that um, whatever comes your way, you're gonna be fine. That spirit's got your back, and you're gonna be fine. So that's another very beautiful, healthy way to be, and the major arcana, which indicates that this is a you know could be a pivotal time for you uh, for change. And this, this two of wands, which is in the position of where you are now, that's clarified by the two of swords. Another balance card. Okay. 
this is pretty interesting because these are these complement each other quite well the two of wands is is your you're looking out and you're planning for your next move, your next step into the world. And the Two of Swords is, is a card of your own, uh, for your own sign here. And it's asking you to listen to your inner voice when making these choices and decisions here. Um, it could indicate that you're stalling or that you're um, indecisive about this. But it's also a time of uh, being in, at peace with where you are. Um, a couple more things about this card I want to tell you is that, you know, this, this is some mental energy here. And that the, the figure here is blindfolded because she wants to go inside herself. She's using her intuition to help her make a decision. And they're both... Uh, Number two, they're both uh, showing the need for balance and um, they're showing that that balance is crucial at this moment. And also the two of swords can say um, that a, a, the person is weighing two choices and kind of afraid or taking a break and not moving forward the the waters in the behind the figure kind of show a rough like a rough patch and she's she needs to go to that island in the background but she's trying to decide what to do should i do this or should i do that but the answer to this card is that there's another way there's potentially a third way. So just keep in mind if you're having to make a decision right now about what to do next or how to cross the water and get to your island, listen to your inner voice and also examine all the possibilities, not just one or two or three, okay? All right, and moving on to the next um the next area, what are you becoming aware of? Um, the Knight of Pentacles, the uh, slow, methodical knight of action towards his goals of physical prosperity. That's going to be clarified by the Ace of Cups. Um, the Ace of Cups is a spirit is giving you a, a huge chalice full of love, joy, bounty, emotion. When this Knight of Pentacles is completely done with his work, when he's harvesting after he's planted his seeds and they, and they grow, your heart is going to be overflowing. Your love is going to be overflowing here with a unconditional love new beginnings of new feelings, pleasure, self-love. You're going to be so happy with this, with this outcome. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, um, prospect for the future for you. So this is what you need to come into awareness about. This is a sign of pre-manifestation. You are headed towards manifesting your Ace of Cups here. And it's going to be a physical thing, too. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward to the bottom row, which is going to help us with information and guidance on what we should be thinking about releasing at this time. Okay, so this first card is going to tell us, what is it time for me to surrender? And you have, oh, you have the Ace of Cups again. Look at this. Now, what I'm, what I'm getting out of this Ace of Cups, wow, so cool. What you need to surrender here is the, lo the low expectation. Because what you're going to have, Libra, what's coming to you is not a little thing. It's a big 
beautiful, bountiful, joy, love. You've got this twice here. This is your promise, okay? Ace of Cups, um, unconditional love, beauty. So, I mean, you're just, you're just forever. You have an abundance and abundance and abundance of love and happy emotions. Something you're going to be so satisfied with and so thrilled with. It's, it's, it's very exciting. So, in this situation, what you want to surrender is um, a lack of a lack of joy and a low expectation for for your future. Okay, you should be expecting something amazing, something from spirit that's going to give you everything that you've ever wanted, your heart's desire. I'm I'm serious. This is this is serious stuff right here. So how can you let go of those legs? How can you, how can you do what you'd want to do to let go of that? Well, let's see here. Okay. We have the three of swords. So the way to let go of that is to go through the, to face the truth, some kind of truth that you need to come to grips with. It's a storm. It's a, it's a, it's not forever. It's a, the storm is fading away here. So something is bothering your mental and your, your heart and your mind are having a, a, a clash here. And it would be good. The way to do this is to clear this up. And the way to do that is to face the truth. And to um, experience the heartbreak if, if need be. But what comes after that is extraordinary. So this might be something that you need to look into. But we're going to get some clarifiers here as well. But um, yeah, that, that's a big clue. That's what it is. It's, it's a very... Um, it's, it's, it's a very good piece of advice because whatever, whenever you move past this, you're going to have a big breakthrough. No doubt about it. Um, so what, how is spirit supporting you? What resources do you have to support you as you deal with this right here and deal with letting go of whatever's keeping this back? What is it? Okay. The Knight of Cups here. The Knight of Cups is helping you and supporting you. The Knight of Cups could be a person, could be a, a love, uh, a love interest, um, that kind of support. It could be self-love that you are um, taking care of yourself here. It's action. It uh, The Knight would denote action. Um, and it has to do with love. So there's a lot of love here in this um, with the cups. All these aces of cups. Um, so. And some kind of love conflict or mental conflict with your heart. And that, that needs to get resolved. And this is going to help you resolve it somehow. The Knight of Cups is going to help you resolve it. Let's go ahead and get the um, clarifying cards here. Thank you, Spirit. For, for Libra, please help us to understand these cards better about what to release and what can Libra do to um, understand this situation better. Thank you. All right, let's get it. Okay. The Ace of Cups is clarified by the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is trusting her own counsel 
she has unlimited potential this is another thing like i was talking about the possibilities don't what you need to let go of is the idea of like not enough like your your expectations might be too low and so the high priestess is reminding you you know the high priestess has no roof above her head because her she has unlimited potential and she has a lot of wisdom and awareness and of course intuition is her biggest asset so follow your intuition trust your own judgments and your own uh, ideas and embrace change here um have the awareness that this ace of cups is in your near is is at, it's for you this is your gift from the universe so have that awareness and uh, again this is a balance this is another card about balance this is this is very um, appropriate for you again Libra you know how to how to find balance and this this card is um, also um, charming in chiming in on your uh, your uh, your intuition as well okay so on the how we know that the how has to do with facing some kind of bitter truth um and that card is going to be clarified with the eight of pentacles finding a work-life balance to protect your creativity Edu okay that makes me think so if your mind and heart are in disagreement or it's causing you to suffer your your heart is hurting because of something going on in your mind maybe it has to do with your job maybe your work-life balance is off um maybe there's you know going to be some pain involved in changing a job your use your intuition as the high priestess and make the decisions about that because um there's something about this it doesn't look like a relationship because it's clarified with the pinnacles especially the eight of pinnacles so it could have something to do with education or your uh, uh something that you're learning and or else your job itself that's breaking your heart or giving you some some suffering some pain um bringing storms into your life or, or something like that so once you face that truth and i don't know it, how much you have to do about it but you definitely have to understand it you know to to embrace the truth about it and that would hopefully make you want to turn your attention to this ace of cups okay and the potential there that new beginning something that's going to fill your cup and overflow it okay something that's going to make you more than happy and satisfied that's what you um what you have the potential for um don't for don't um short change yourself on these potential okay all right and then for what resources are supporting you as you release you got the knight of cups and that's clarified by the world card okay so you have one two three one two three major arcanas here you have two aces of cups and two knights that's pretty wild too knight of pentacles and the knight of cups so i'm thinking that you want to find something that you love you want to find the work that you love 
And this is this is something that's coming your way, Libra. The Knight of Cups is coming your way. And it's the world. The world is, is something that everything you've worked for in this Knight of Pentacles is coming together. It's coming together to give you this Ace of Cups. Something you worked for. Okay? That's an, that's another, and this is not, I don't think this is a relationship at all. This is, this has to do with your work. And here you have this opportunity or this prospect or you're thinking about making plans and then you don't know which way to go right now. You're thinking it through. You're asked to take a leap of faith. You're, you're preparing to take a leap of faith. Spread your wings and fly. This is, seems like a clear message to me, Libra, that this is about um, fulfillment in your work life. Fulfillment, something, doing something that you really love as opposed to what it is that is no longer for you. And the world is saying that everything's coming together. It's an accomplishment, a success. It's a new, it's, it's a whole new world for you. So, wow, that's pretty cool. Pretty clear and cool, Libra. I love it. Um, you know, you, you've got a lot going for you right now. I, I'm really impressed with these Aces of Cups. S superb beauty and um, abundant future. You're going to love what you, what you have coming for you. Okay. All right. With all of that, let's go ahead and move forward with the spirit animal deck. It's going to give us a little bit more advice and more clarity here. I mean, it's a pretty clear message so far, but this is going to help us to um, know how to act basically throughout all of this. So what, what spirit animals can, does Libra, um, need at this time spirit thank you okay all right spirit says peacock self-love all right here we go self-love you will find great power in focusing on the positive aspects of yourself which that which makes you indefinably unique and beautiful there is deep wells of untapped inner power and in letting go of negative self-talk. Okay. Um, that might be what's going on here too. Some negative self-talk. Just take care of yourself with love. Unconditional love. Okay. Self-love is here again on this Ace of Cups. If you see down here, self-love. So, um, there's going to be, there's great power in taking care of yourself also, which you've already got experience with that. This is that four of swords energy of let, allowing yourself to rest, allowing yourself to listen to your higher voice, higher calling your, your higher self, you know, um, making sure that you're rested, you're, um, your needs are met and you're happy and you're doing what you love. That's important too. If you love yourself, you're not going to put yourself through this misery anymore. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful self, self love. Okay. Spirit also says Turkey, good news. You may soon receive an important, but very unexpected gift. Accept this with deep respect Someone has sacrificed a lot to help you open doors and grow. A lot of things will change for the better. And I'm feeling that's got to do with this. This is what resources or are supportive to me. What, what ha does spirit have? How is spirit helping you with giving you this good news? And they're sending you a message through this Knight of Cups. Someone has sacrificed a lot to help you to open doors and grow. 
that's a that's got to do with your job too i feel like all right one more thing exploration hippopotamus if you have become bored with your life you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything you can do this by starting new projects setting new goals and making spiritual connections okay all right Libra you've got this this is this is clear as day this is the clear as a bell to me this is all about finding the the work that you love and spirit's going to help you do that because they're sending these these gifts the people the person someone to help you and asking you to you know give up on this old stagnant boring place the thing that's hurting your heart and conf conflicting with your your mind your mind might be telling you that this is the place you need to be but your heart is saying no it hurts i don't want to do that anymore i want to do something that i love I want to take care of myself. I want to be in my own power. You know, I want to take that leap of faith. Yeah, that's it. You got it. All right, Libra. That's that's pretty pretty cool. Um, this is going to um, be the end of this part. But you know that I'm doing that um, bonus reading, and with the bonus reading this time, I I going to go ahead and continue using especially even just this day the career oracle and i'm going to let you um i'm going to see what it, i'm interested to see what comes out for you because your readings seem to have a lot to do with um career or some kind of work life balance and work as being part of the balance um, so, and I was, I was going to do the career cards again this time for the fact that this is a Capricorn full moon, which is another reason for you to expect, um, a big change, uh, having to do with your work because, um, you know, the Capricorn is, um, you know, he's, he's stri Capricorn energy strives for, uh, career advancement. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the what these oracle cards have for you. There's one that's all for you. Flipped right out. Okay. All right. Let's get a couple more for Libra, please. There's one. They flipped out real good. I'm telling you, this is your message, man. All right, Libra. Career. Okay. I don't I think that might be too much, but I'll take the top one there. Okay. Alright, so the first one that came out is progress. It seems like a long slog, but your efforts will pay off soon. Stay on course for at least a few more months before making a change. Okay. Um I wasn't expecting it to take a few more months, but you know. If it doesn't happen right away, at least give it a few more months, okay? The next one says, moving up. You are increasing your power and status. You may get a promotion or move to a better home or office. You climb the ladder of success, okay? So that's something to help you. And one more, real passion. Stop wasting time in dead-end jobs and find your true passion. Heck yeah. Your true passion. Let's see what that is. Oh, that it must be this. It's fine to experiment, but don't settle for less than you truly deserve. Okay, Libra? Please, don't forget, this was here in the part that says for you to surrender. Do not give up on what you truly, do not settle for what, for less than you truly deserve, okay? Find that real passion, okay? The thing that's going to make you super happy, all right? Okay, I am so excited for you, Libra. I feel like this is, this is your moment 
to to really you know balance everything you've already you balance your care for yourself you balance your your rest and your your work and now it's time for you to balance that work with your heart and your mind okay your talents yeah i i really i really love that reading very much um so i was just i guess that's gonna be it for now i hope you enjoyed that i sure enjoyed doing that reading um, I want to uh, ask, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I've made it a little easier for you if you're watching on a TV screen by adding a, a screen at the end of the video. So all you have to do is navigate uh, up and you can click on the subscribe button very easily. So I took some of the effort out of that for you so that subscribing will only cost you a smaller effort. Um, but for me, it will be a tremendous boost that I will really uh, appreciate. Um, your likes and your comments also, I truly appreciate them. I love every single one. And, um, you know, I really, I, I will never uh, take those for granted at all. Um, so I guess that's going to be all for now, Libra. Again, thank you for everything you do. And uh, that'll I, I wish the best for you and your endeavors and for the months ahead. Uh, so for that, that's it for now. I love you. Thank you. Love and light.